What a wonderful message in that story. Jesus is the light of the world that leads us to salvation. Amen, Ingrid? Amen, Ben. Please meet Ingrid Bowling. Ingrid served as a co-host on last year's show. On that show, Father Dwight Longenecker, pastor of Our Lady of the Rosary Catholic Church, shared a drawing of the new church they wanted to build. We invited Ingrid back to our show to give an update on that parish. Welcome, Ingrid. Thank you. Hello, everyone. The dream and vision of a new church building for the parishioners at the Our Lady of the Rosary Catholic Church is now a reality. As you can see in the pictures, the church is truly beautiful. It has brightened the look of the lower end of Augusta Road in Greenville. The church has something special that truly epitomizes multiculturalism in the Catholic Church in many ways. One way in particular can be seen in the stained glass window of St. Kateri Takawitha that is located in the lower church. In this picture, parishioner Jean Norris, chief of the PAIA Lower Eastern Cherokee Nation, looks proudly at the stained glass that honors our first Native American saint in the Catholic Church. Bishop Guglielmoni blessed the new church on Saturday, November 26, 2016. Yes, Ingrid, I agree. That is very beautiful. Did you know that on that same day that the bishop blessed our new parish as well? Yes, I do know that, Vince. And we have pictures of Our Lady of Levain Catholic Church as well. This too is another example of the beauty of our diversity that we celebrate as Catholics. In these pictures, you can clearly see heartfelt happiness and joy on the faces of those who attended the blessing of Our Lady of Levain Church. God is so good. All the time. Ingrid, I have a good idea. Since you're here and you certainly know all about what's coming up next, why don't you introduce our next segment? Yes, thank you, Vince. Sure, it would be my pleasure. Viewers, we now take you to the cook station in the West End section of downtown Greenville because it's time for Cooking with the Bishop. And now it's time for Cooking with Bishop Guglielmoni. Merry Christmas. Welcome to the cook station, which is located in the West End of downtown Greenville. I'm Bishop Robert Guglielmoni, and I want to thank Kelly Colasiopo of the Cook Station for allowing this to be my kitchen away from home today. Joining me are my tasters. They have the responsibility of verifying for you that the dish I am about to prepare is simply wonderful. Tasters, please tell our viewers who you are and the name of the parish that you are attending. Hi, I'm Quinn Pham. I'm a member of Our Lady of Love and Mission. Very good, welcome, and uh, it's good to see you here today. And I'm Cheryl Casper, and I'm visiting from St. Mary of the Lake Parish in New Buffalo, Michigan, and I just heard you made really good food, so I came. My goodness, a long way to come for a dish of pasta. It's going to be worth it. <laughs> I am David Fenn. I am a Franciscan friar. I'm serving for uh, Diocese Charleston. Hello, Bishop, and I wish everyone to have a wonderful Christmas. Kính chúc quý ông bà và anh chị em một mùa Giáng sinh vui vẻ và an lành. Well, thank you. It's good of you to be here. I wish I knew a little more Vietnamese and I could understand some of what you were saying, but we'll figure that out. Probably we'll learn a little bit later. Yes. <laughs> I'm Mayra Trujillo. I'm a member of St. Mary Magdalene Catholic Church in Sensonville. Um, I'm happy to be here and Feliz Navidad. Well, welcome. It's great to have you here. And uh, St. Mary Magdalene is the place I usually stay when I come up and spend some time in Greenville. In our Catholic tradition, uh, the celebration of Christmas begins actually on Christmas Eve, but Christmas Day is the day that most folks really celebrate. For many people, it's a day in which family and friends gather in someone's home to share a big meal together. I have the perfect dish for you. It's my seafood linguine. And with a name like Guglielmoni, believe me, I know pasta. Let's begin. First of all, we have the ingredients that uh, are, are here. Uh, olive oil, lemon, garlic, chopped onion, some small zucchini, six, a large uh, shrimp peeled and divined. Uh, we could uh, uh, also look at uh, six to eight uh, bay scallops, crab meat, uh, Italian parsley, butter, uh, some white wine, Parmesan cheese to taste, and of course, the linguine. Uh, I do need a, uh, a spoon here to sort of move this butter around. Ah, uh, you hear the sizzling starting? 
it's a sign that perhaps it's just a little bit too high. All right, the next step, of course, is to get our garlic in. And to get our onion. The zucchini needs a little bit of time to cook, so we're going to take some of the zucchini and put it right in. At this point, you can put parsley in later, but I always like to put parsley in at this point. You can see where everything is ready and it's time to go with the seafood. Um, obviously, I like to put the shrimp in first. And then, of course, your deveined scallops. Then, of course, our crab meat. Okay, everything's all mixed up. Now, the classic ingredient, white wine. Well, it looks as though we're just about set here. However, <clears throat> there's one ingredient that's still missing, and that is the pasta. So, uh, if, uh, if you don't mind, I will go get the pasta, which has been prepared. And um, we will take the pasta and place it in a wonderful serving dish. And now, oh, perfect. Of course, as I say, an Italian dish without some Parmesan cheese. And so here we have mm. this absolutely magnificent dish, which is not very uh, time consuming in terms of preparation. And of course, if you have a house full of guests, uh, obviously you use more linguine, more shrimp, more crab meat, etc. but you can adjust that to taste. It's really a very easy dish to make. Tasters, are you ready? Decimos en Puerto Rico, esto está delicioso. That's in Spanish, huh? In Vietnamese tradition, they're saying on quoi. Well, I hope you enjoyed uh, this uh, wonderful, um, easy recipe for, uh, for Christmas or any other time of the year, but it's a great recipe, uh, especially if you have a, a good number of people and you want to serve them a wonderful pasta. So thank you so much for participating in this. Uh, certainly uh, wish you a very, very uh, uh, Merry Christmas, uh, Feliz Navidad, uh, and uh, uh, um, a Buon Natale in Italiano, uh, but uh, certainly uh, Merry Christmas to everybody. Uh, you can get this recipe uh, simply by going to our website, uh, as you see on the screen, and uh, certainly wish you the very best. It's been a pleasure being with you and sharing this recipe with you this day. Vince, we should have been tasters on that set. Now I have food on my mind. Anyhow, I'll bet many of you are probably smelling the aroma of your own Christmas meal about now. Just hang on a little longer because you can't have a Christmas show without Christmas music. Drum roll, please. <laughs> Introducing the St. Anthony of Padua Catholic School Choir. The choir will sing, It's the Most Wonderful Time of the Year. The choir director is Mr. Larry McCullough.